In this video, we will take up the homework sheet on verifying properties of quadrilaterals. So on the first sheet, they ask us to ver sorry, on the first question they ask us to verify that the quadrilateral is a trapezoid. So all I have to do is find one pair of sides, one pair of opposite sides which are parallel to each other. Uh, so that's what I did. Uh, verify it's a rhombus. So basically you have to just show that all four sides are the same length. Uh, and okay, sh sorry. The way I did it was show I have a parallelogram, and then uh, all four sides are the same length. Um, but once you know it's a parallelogram, you just need to solve for the length of two adjacent sides, and you'll know you have a rhombus. Um, let's see. For question three, verify it's a rectangle. So um, I solve for the slopes. And I see that adjacent sides are perpendicular to each other. And once I know that, it's, a, it's definitely a rectangle. I don't care about the length of the sides. Um, it, whether it's a square or not, it uh, doesn't matter because a uh, square is quite simply a special rectangle. So once I show that, bam, it's, it's definitely a, a rectangle. Uh, verify that the diagonals of A, B, C, D, which is a rectangle by the way, are equal in length and bisect each other. So the diagonals of a rectangle are actually very special. Not only do they bisect each other, but they have the same length. So I show that uh, the midpoints of the diagonals are, have the same coordinates. So that tells me that they bisect each other. And to show they have the same length is quite easy. Just do a length, length calculation. Um, for question four, let's see. For question four, they say, um, Oh, they want us to find the midpoint, uh, the midpoint of all four sides, and then show that it's basically it's a parallelogram. So I found the midpoints. Uh, I show that opposite sides of this uh, quadrilateral created by joining the midpoints are parallel, and then I also solve for the lengths of all four of the sides, which they are equal. Uh, even though I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to do all four sides because once again, once I established in part C that it was a parallelogram, I only need to sol solve for the side, the two sides. Um, but they said verify the opposite sides are equal in length. So, okay, that's why I did all four calculations because they wanted me to verify. So I had to show them the work. But I knew that. I knew that because it's a parallelogram. Of course, the opposite sides are equal in length. Okay, so question five, they wanted me to draw a trapezoid. Okay, I did that. And then they verify, oh yeah, verify the line segment joining the midpoints of the non-parallel sides of the trapezoid is parallel to the other two sides. So um, I basically had to solve for the uh, slopes of the two parallel sides of the trapezoid. And then I found the slope of the, the midline or the mid segment or the median of the trapezoid. Um, but first I had to find the midpoints. So then I was able to find the slope of that midline. And once I see that they all have the slope of one fifth, which means, yeah, they're all parallel to each other and I'm done. Okay, so that's the solutions on properties of a quadrilateral.